Well guys, welcome back to the channel. You guys clicked on the channel, you know we're going to be talking about this right here. This is a brand new jack that came out. It's a three ton off-road jack from Harbor Freight. This is the Badland one. As you guys can see right here, off-road jack, three ton. Okay, if you guys have seen this jack or you haven't seen this jack yet, um, it just came out, so we thought we'd pick one up and do a quick review on it. Right here behind us is our truck. And we blew out a CV axle here. Yes, it's about nine degrees out here in Michigan and we got tons of snow behind us, but we thought we'd do a quick review on this one and show you what we think of this because we're hoping this thing will be really good for the summer. Because we were gonna go out and buy the Eagle one, but that's $600. This one is $299 and then they sell like a one year or two year package for replacement, but we didn't buy it because we're hoping that it'll actually last a year or two. So we'll find out. Let us open the box and see what's in here. Silly directions, who reads those? Lay around, check this out. These seem pretty duty, pretty heavy duty plastic here. There's actually some bearings inside of these. So if you look, there's some bearings. So on both sides, those should help. Those should help roll pretty good. You can tell the front from the back. It's not that hard. Everything out. Looks like the stender that you put on the bottom there. When you put it on top. Okay. Bag of bolts might be important. Styrofoam, don't care. Nice, sleek design. Ha. Okay, looks like it has a heavy duty piston in there. Has a little drive shaft on the back here for when you're turning and locking or lifting or lowering. Um, seems pretty heavy duty. But we won't know until we try it. So we're gonna put the tires on real quick. Once we put the tires on, cause I don't wanna set it on the ground. Probably a pretty clean, sleek design on this thing. Seems pretty heavy duty. I mean, this looks like heavy duty steel on this thing, but we'll find out. Um, you're gonna need yourself a 19 inch socket or a wrench, whatever you want. And that'll put on your tires. So little ones go in the front. Just gonna lift it up. Let's see if there's directions on these. It doesn't say if it's one way or another. So I'm assuming these wheels go both directions. Slide one. Ugh. Slide two. Woo. It is cold out here, guys. Cold, cold, cold. So we're going to slide on that, put the lock. We're going to put the little washer on, put our bolt on. Do the same thing on the other side. And on the other side, we'll do the same exact thing. I don't mess around. These all have Loctites at the end of them, so you don't need to crank them down. I make sure it's pretty tight. I make sure it's snug down on there. It's all the way to the end of the Loctite at the side. And then I make sure, I make sure it's all the way in guys. So when I do it, take whatever you got, there's Loctite, tight down. Make sure it spins freely still. It might be a little wobble, but that's just the bearings in there. Nice and easy smooth right there guys. Zoom, zoom. Next up. Just to let you know it is a little heavy, so. See? Yep. Right there, nice and perfect. So now. Ooh, these are lightweight metal tubes. 
you want to make sure that you handle it correctly. There is, and it looks like an Allen wrench right here. This must be the Allen wrench. There you go. Ah, Allen wrench to put on these. Okay. There's a little plastic piece right here across the main bar. Let's bring you in and show you. Right here, there's a plastic piece. You're gonna have to take this piece out. If you don't, it's not gonna work. So you're gonna have to. There we go. They had that in there pretty good, so they probably didn't want it popping up while you're doing it. Okay, on the bottom of here, there's a little turn knob right here. Lock down your handle. It'll still rotate like this back and forth so you can engage your drive shaft right there. See that? So that'll be how you tighten it up. Take this one, slide it in. There'll be a little push button here. Right here, a little indent. Push it in. Lock it in. And now you have your jack. It's set up to go. And then if you want to add this part right here with the locks on here, which I'm going to do because I'll use it a lot is I'm going to line this two grooves up here, set it in there, and start screwing it down. And there's a little Allen wrench right here. Push the side button in, it'll come right out, and you just tighten it down. And put it back, push your button in, push your button in right there, and then just push it back in there. It keeps it right in there so you don't lose it. And then you got to put your safety handle on over here. And you got this, you can readjust this however you want. Shorter, higher, medium. Put your little pin in. Lock that in. Ta-da! Got yourself a Badland off-road jack right there, guys. So, now we're gonna take this thing and lift this side of the truck up and see how it works. And see if this thing's any good or not. Has handles on the side just to let you know like i said this thing's heavy so when you load it in and out of the truck you got some handles on the side there's a locking mechanism right here that you want to make sure that this thing is unlocked so you push it down and lock it in when you're traveling so make sure that's disengaged okay if you're looking let me show you coming closer if you look right here if you look right here, this is where the storage saddle goes. Uh, it fits right over it and you just kind of mount them in there like that. These bolts are four on the torque. Um, or the Allen wrench, what do you call them? These bolts are four on the Allen wrench. So what we're gonna do is put them in here and just tighten them down. And I'm just gonna hand tighten it and just whoop, done. Other side. Done. That is it, guys. Now we're time to test this jack out. Put my gloves back on, because these are cold right now. Okay, next up, guys, right here, we're just putting it on the center frame. We're gonna turn it until it snugs down and tightens our handle here. So our handle is tight like a normal jack. And we're in the ice and the snow. Are we in the sand? No, but guess what? We'll try it out there, because you know we break down a lot in the sand. So, let's see if this will lift. Okay, that's all we needed, guys. So. Go 
overall guys the jack went together pretty simple it slides around pretty easy on concrete a little bit of snow and ice which is probably expected but we'll play within the dirt see how it sets in there and we'll do a lot more stuff this summer and we'll try a year review after we play in the mud and do a lot of other things with it but the initial review it's easy to put together it works it runs smooth hey way better than six hundred dollars three hundred dollars is definitely a good deal i would definitely recommend one of these right now and a year later we'll come back and we'll, a year later we'll come back and let you guys know what we think of it so see you guys in the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed this a lot of work but hey we got it done Whew, you feel that cold